cut his lid on. Went from talking to flirting so I knew just what he was on. Told him text me his number, finna put my niggas aside. Then we talk for three hours until my battery died. Oh, oh but I sink the room. She was like tripping, banging on my door like she was the police. At that point, I'm drunk, I'm tired. Like, I slammed the door in her face, so they don't come to my door no more. I slammed it in her face. So, um, the next day had came or whatever, and I cooked dinner for my homegirl and her daughter. Um, they came over, and I was telling her about the situation, and she literally started like just banging on the on which is her ceiling but it's my floor so i'm hearing this noise but i'm used to her doing that because she does it often like to be honest and i just ignore it because i'm like that's rude like the polite way to go about it is to if somebody like you live in an apartment building if somebody above you if you feel like it's too much noise for you to handle just politely knock on their door and have a conversation I feel like when I opened the door the first time and allowed her to do that, it then became like a repeated thing where she just thought like any little noise that I make, it could be me walking around, walking from like my bed to my bathroom to the kitchen, back to my bed, and she would come knock on my door. Sometimes I would be cleaning up, like I'm vacuuming and I'm playing music, she knocking on my door and I'm like, girl, you the only person that, that's doing this, like it's just too much, but neither here nor there. Um, so basically what ended up having that day was, um, after all the banging, I had actually called, um, the management company for my leasing, for my, for my property that I live on. Um, cause at this point I was tired of trying to get with the leasing agent, the manager, cause she'd be ducking out phone calls and a whole bunch of other bullshit. So <laughs> that was a whole, that's a whole nother story. But, um. So basically, what ended up happening was um, they literally was able to hear her like literally banging on the floor, all of that, verbatimly loud, all of that. So then I got off the phone with them. My homegirl came over. We was eating, we were talking about it, and I get a bang on my door. I'm like, why is somebody banging on my door like it's the police? So I open up my door. It's some dark skinned dude, no shirt on, looking like he about ready to fight, talking about. Um, you said my mother was lying and I'm like first of all who are you and I'm like what <laughs> I'm like did you really come to my door for this nonsense once I put two and two together and realized like he was referring to his mother as in the lady who lives downstairs I'm like no you did not send your fucking young ass son to my door on the rah-rah shit like bitch I was been I had been being polite this entire time and for people who know me know my mouth is reckless as fuck like I will let you have it. I don't care what age you are. Like, if you, if I feel like you're being disrespectful at that point, my respect goes out the window and I'm going to lay your ass out. But I have been trying to turn over a new leaf and not airing people the fuck out lately. So I didn't air her out when she came to my door that, at 4 o'clock in the morning. I just shut the door in her face. When her son came to my door, I didn't air him out. I just slammed my door in her face. But at that point, I'm like, my friend's child is in my room trying to take a nap. They're banging on the floor, being rude. Then he comes to my door on, the, on that rah-rah mess. Like, at this point, sir, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know if you would have had a weapon. Like, And then on top of that, you don't know who's in my house. What if it was a dude who answered my door and y'all got into it? You feel me? And then you want to call the police. Like, no. Like, absolutely not. You're causing unnecessary drama and you don't even fucking live here. So basically oh the backstory of her constantly banging on my door was she claimed she had um she just had brain surgery i work at med surge you guys there was no way fucking possible the way that she was up and moving around no visible bandages nothing that she just had brain surgery a week ago let's just be honest she would probably actually still be in the hospital or at home with a home health aide or in a rehab center for recovery for that like you don't just have brain surgery and leave right out the hospital within the next two days like it doesn't really happen that way um let's just be real <laughs> doesn't happen that way so um yeah i called her bullshit and when i talked to the um the 
district manager for my leasing company. I told him that story and he was like, oh, okay. So come to find out, um, basically the lady was, you know, a little mentally unstable. She had, you know, some issues, um, which is something that they really couldn't tell me. But after a while, like I kind of caught on to the hints of what was going on. So apparently she had been doing this to the person who lived here before me. They ended up having a situation like this too. Um, that person had lived in here for eight years, um, just the same as she had, and literally it was the same type of issue, but she never like sent her son up to that person's door. And I'm assuming she sent her son up to my door because she assumed I was young. Um, that boy was no more than 20 years old. Baby, I'm a whole 10 years older than your son. Don't you fucking do that because I'm going to treat him like the child that he is. <laughs> like, no. So um, that situation happened, then fast forward over to um, recently, I got a letter in the mail from my leasing office saying that my lease was being changed um, starting the new, the new, the lease renewal, which would be in December. Um, and I called them and I'm like, why is my lease automatic? Like, why is my lease being changed? Like, I'm not signing no new lease that y'all y'all changing without notifying me or explaining why. Um, so basically, because of the situation with that lady and I let them know, like, because of that situation, I did not feel safe, which was very true. Like, that boy don't live here and he has access to get into this building. And when I called the police to do like the report to get like a peace order um, for them both so that I wouldn't have to deal with that issue um, is when I found out about all his, you know, charges that he had. So that, you know, made it a little extra weird. But um, yeah, basically uh, <clears throat> she, uh, we both basically because neither one of us chose to move. Um, they put us both on a two month lease starting December. So basically our lease goes for two months, every two months, every two months. And I'm just like, yo, this is stupid. But it makes sense because it gives us the opportunity to be able, it gives me, I don't know if she moving, um, but it gives me the opportunity to be able to move if I decide that I want to move. But the way that, you know, inflation is happening and rent prices are skyrocketing through the city, the intention that I did have to move, I no longer have because the way that I look at it, I like to budget my money and it's just unnecessary for me to move if I don't have to. Now, if they move me to another unit, that would have been fine, like we had discussed. However, like I said, the leasing office manager of my property is a piece of work. So I never actually got a phone call regarding me being able to move into another unit. Now, I could be petty and go over her head again. She already discussed that she didn't, you know, like the fact that I went over her head. But at that point, like you were already siding with that lady because she had lived here for eight years prior. You've been letting her make complaints on me since the first day that I moved in. So at this point, you were already in cahoots with her to try to build a report to get me evicted. You feel me? Like, that's just, it. it I don't like that type of stuff. Like, without even contacting the, the, the other party to see what actually was happening, it literally took for me to threaten with a lawyer because that at that point, that's tenant harassment to be constantly getting a letter for an inspection every week because of her, her false complaints. Literally for six months straight, I got a letter that my um, that they were doing going to do an inspection, and I'm like, this can't be real. Like at this point, I'm not stupid. I know my ten rights as a tenant. Like just because I'm, you know, just because I don't come across, you know, like I know what what I can and can't do. Like don't think that you know I don't know. Basically, like basically not realizing that I knew my rights as a tenant and that's how they were trying to play it until I called them out on their shit and I did it when the district manager was here. It literally got to the point where the district manager had to personally come on property, talk to the leasing manager, and then they both went and talked to her regarding the situation. Like you cannot do that because that is legit harassment. And if her son would have caused any damage, then she would have definitely, you know, 
like it 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 just it just escalated and it went out of hand when she sent her son to my door um but for all of this to happen and now after december i'm basically on a two-month lease because of her like basically my lease gets renewed every two months um because of her like as long as i think i have to go four months without complaints i always make my payments on time so four months without any complaints which i don't have anymore um after that whole situation and ordeal the complaints stop because they were coming from her um so as long as i don't have any complaints and um i don't have uh any late payments on rent then they can um, go ahead and like, put my lease back to a year lease. <laughs> but you never know, the economy, that's just be real, I'll be honest, I don't see the economy getting any better between now and the beginning of next year. So like, I'm just stuck. Oh, and if you see this right here, the, yes, you guys, my face is swollen right now. Um, <laughs> you can kind of tell. <laughs> Um, you know, my jaw pains and stuff, but yeah, that's my little, you know, 5.30 a.m. rant. Um, I'm about to smoke and lay back down until it's time to go to my appointment. Check back in with y'all later. Oh, but I shake the room.